Hey, welcome back guys, Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into different ways that we can use to attenuate the signal when we're out doing radio direction finding or in the case of a fox hunt. Now, we're gonna talk about three different methods today. The first one, we're going to use an HT that is capable of listening to the second and third harmonics of the signal. So that will allow us to attenuate it out. Another way that we're going to do it is I've got this uh, 30 dB step attenuator. So I can dial uh, 10 dB into it, 20 dB into it, or 30 dB into it. And then once again, we're gonna be looking at the offset attenuator. And we're gonna kind of compare the three of these guys together and figure out which one might be better for you and which one might not be worth your time. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so first up, we're going to look at the attenuator. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm about 20 paces from the Fox during all of these tests, but I've gone ahead and dialed in about 30 dB to the attenuator and the Fox is sitting right over there. So you can hear probably that the radio is picking up the Fox quite well. Now, we're gonna wait for it to come back one more time and we're gonna see if it matters. Remember, the Fox is over there. Will it matter if the antenna is pointed this direction? Is it going to give me enough information that I can kind of narrow down which direction to go next? There we go, there's the Fox coming. We're pointed directly at it, solid signal. All the way around backwards, the antenna is in the wrong polarization and I've still got full signal. So once you get this close in, you're either going to need more attenuator or you're gonna to need to try another method. All right, so this go around, we're going to be using the Yezu VX6 because it's the only radio I've got with me that will dial in the second harmonic. So that harmonic is 293 one three and we're going to use it now i'm not hearing anything with the squelch uh engaged right now so we're going to open that squelch up completely and see if this will give us direction okay so that's pointed directly at the fox i'll start turning away from it and we definitely lose the signal over here so if we were using the second harmonic you could definitely start dialing it in when you're about 20 paces away from the Fox itself. All right, just for the fun of it, I went ahead and put the third harmonic in here, or at least as close as I can get with this radio. I'm at 439.700. It is breaking the squelch on the radio. So let's go ahead and point this one at the Fox when it starts transmitting again, and let's see if that third harmonic gives us enough uh, nulls or peaks to let us know which direction to go next. All right. We've got a little bit of signal there, pretty good. And as we start to turn away, yes, we do lose a signal. And off the back, we still get uh, almost as much as we get off of the front. I'm gonna try that one more time just to make sure I didn't mess something up in this. And I'm sorry to keep turning my back to you. If I turn this way, I'm gonna end up hitting the camera though. All right, so I've got about half scale right there. Let's turn all the way around. Yeah, it's a little bit less. It's you know, it's not quite half scale, but if you didn't know that the Fox was over there, it could be a little bit trickier using the third harmonic. But using the second or third harmonic is definitely a good way to go if you don't want to invest in that offset attenuator. All right, so this time around, I'm going to be using the ID50 at 142.565 and that offset attenuator again. Let's see what we can do with this when we get it dialed in. All right, so it's transmitting right now. Actually, it just quit, so we'll give it uh, a moment to start transmitting again, and we'll see if we can get that dialed in. So I've got the offset attenuator on minimum right now, and then I'll start dialing it in. All right, I've just barely got a signal right there. Let's start turning with that. And that signal has already dropped out. So behind me, I don't get anything and the Fox has quit transmitting. All right, let's give it another second here and we'll try that again. Fox is transmitting, let's start, oh, and see. Fox is over there and by the time I get at about a 45 degree angle, I've already lost that signal. There it is back. 
and now I've lost that signal again when I'm just 45 degrees off of it. All right, so I'm on open that squelch up just a little bit more and I can actually see the light on the Fox when it transmits. So I'm gonna stay over here and I'm gonna know by the light when the Fox transmits and we'll see what he gets. All right, it is transmitting. I just barely got a, a bump of it right there. There it is. Now I've lost it. I'm good. And I've lost it. So we've got a definite direction using the offset attenuator as to where we need to travel next. <laughs> it's still tracking me. All right, let's just put it right there. Let's set it right on the other side of this tree. Okay, so this time I'm about half the distance that I was a while ago. So I'm probably about 10 paces away from the tree. And I've put the fox on the other side of the tree. So I just opened up the uh, attenuator a little bit, the offset attenuator. And I want to see if we can kind of dial this in. Again, it's on the other side of the tree, making it a little bit more challenging because I can't see when the fox is transmitting. All right, so the fox is definitely transmitting and let's move. I haven't, okay, now I've lost that signal. So I'm almost 90 degrees away from that signal and almost 90 degrees in the other direction when I lost it. I'm not sure if the fox cut off right there or if I just lost that signal. All right, so here we go again. And yeah, I'm at uh, not quite uh, 90 degrees to it before it drops out in both directions. This direction is a little bit further than it is going the other way. Now, let's go ahead and try the second and third harmonic again. All right, now, because the last time the third harmonic gave me a much stronger signal, we're only gonna be trying to use that second harmonic this time. We'll go ahead and open up squelch on that radio, cut that volume down just a hair, and let's see if we can hear this and how far off we can get before we lose that signal. All right, now that is very interesting. You probably can't even hear that through the static of the radio, but I am pointing the Yagi directly at the tree that I know the fox is behind, and I can faintly, faintly hear that signal. If I wasn't standing here really concentrating and listening for it, I wouldn't even be able to hear it on the second harmonic. Let's give that third harmonic another try. All right, so we are at 439.700 again. We're gonna wait for a second and see if it will break the squelch. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the squelch completely and just see if we can definitely hear the fox on this third harmonic when there's a tree between us and the fox. So far, I haven't heard anything, so let's go ahead and open that squelch. I'm gonna stand here for another second and see if I can hear uh, anything off of the fox. So as you can see, we can use the third harmonic in this case because it's a little bit stronger to be able to detect that fox even though it's behind the tree. So if you're going to use harmonics, make sure you know the second, third, and fourth harmonic if your radio can dial into all of those frequencies. So what did we learn here today? Well, we learned that there's multiple ways to skin this cat, and you can go out with nothing more than an HT, assuming it can dial in to the second and third harmonics. Now, what we didn't try was taking the antenna off of the radio. That's another good possibility that we could use during the fox hunt. So, like I said, multiple ways that we could go about this. My preferred method is using the offset attenuator, but that might not be everybody's favorite, and there's always multiple ways to do something. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.